Hi, everybody. I'm very happy to be with you, even in virtual mode, um, at this meeting on preparatory for the IG, next IGF 2020. Um, I'm sorry, you see that we are in emergency mode, so I don't have a tie. For those that knows me, this is quite unusual, but in fact, we are in hard times, and the tie is the first victim of the tie, of the crisis. The, um, I want to share with you what we have done in the last month as World Broadcasting Union and EBU, European Broadcasting Union, in our field of um, competence, that means media, essentially, uh, to, um, in, related to internet governance and to uh, tackle the COVID-19 crisis. The first um, big area of uh, activity has been related to fight misinformation, especially in times of a crisis like the COVID-19, essential uh, information, reliable information are needed by citizens for protecting their lives. So this means that we have um, intensified our efforts on an initiative like the Journalist Trust Initiative that we run uh, led by Reporter Without Borders and uh, in partnership with UNESCO. We have uh, uh, the Trusted News Initiative that is led by BBC and uh, that is um, made in partnership with various internet platforms and uh, printed media. And there are some in-house activities coordinating the development of artificial intelligence tools that allow us to detect uh, um, easily and um, to track the source of misinformation. Of course, this um, is the first and the most important duty that um, citizen expects from public service broadcaster worldwide. And the, the, the results have been there because, for instance, the, the use of news and the access to news provided by uh, public service broadcaster has increased by 30% compared to the same period of last year. That is the proof that the people want to have access to reliable information. And the most important thing is that even people that before were um, looking at um, social media as the first source of information, uh, even the youngsters, now uh, prefer that during this period to go to see to reliable website um, from traditional media because their life is at, at stake and they don't want to take any risk. The second area of um, activities that we have done is also related to the crisis of COVID-19 and is about the sustainability of the model of um, uh, business model of media. Uh, as you know, in three months uh, since February to April, the advertising revenues of the traditional media market has gone down of 75%. Of course, this impact is different uh, from uh, one media to another. And that's been very devastating for uh, commercial media, for community media, for printed media, uh, less for um, uh, public service media where they are well funded through the license fee that has been proving their efficiency as a model for financing. But um, nevertheless, the problem is uh, systemic. So um, we are trying to create awareness in the politicians and in the ruling institutions about this problem, how it could be tackled and how it could be solved. And we have tried to provide assistance to members uh, and um, mobilize resources to try to cope with this uh, lack of funding. Uh, but the problem is systemic, as I said, and um, this needs to be tackled at the highest level, worldwide, globally, because this could affect democracy. If media doesn't function properly, democracy will be in a, in a problem soon or is already or quite in a problem. Then the last point on which we have worked a lot is the uh, creating a sharing hub of, of experience and best practices. Uh, a lot of technical problems uh, have issued in these days. How to produce a TV program without guests in the studio How to and without audience. How to produce radio programs being confined at home. Uh, how to uh, produce news in a safe way. All these um, problems has been discussed. Uh, we have asked all members to share their best practices and experience. And thanks to that, uh, a solution that has been adopted in uh, Switzerland has been then moved and transposed uh, in Poland or in uh, any other country that is member of the Union and even in Africa and in other countries. So all these activities has been made um, and are still continuing to be done in order to have a better and more informed, proper world in which
which the media can perform at the best their um, work to assist citizens in their daily life that is complicated uh, in this kind of situation. Thank you very much and I wish all of you a nice IGF meeting.